Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Uh, dividend theories, there are two types of theories, irrelevance and relevance theories. We are talking about relevance theories. In relevance theories, we have two types. One is Walter's model and Garden's model. Walter's model we have seen in the last classes, right? Now today we will see Garden's model. Both the theories, whether it's Walter or Garden, their theories are saying that dividend is relevance. You have to pay the dividend. When you pay the dividend, then only company's value, company share value is going to increase and the shareholder satisfaction, the moment when you give the dividend, that will be very important, they are saying. Now, the same theory, now we are discussing in the garden. Garden also, he has given the same method. You have to pay the dividend. Paying dividend is always advisable for the organization. So, it will increase the value of the organization also. Now, what he is saying, two points just simply remember. One is, dividends are relevant to the share prices of the firm. Dividend is relevant. Dividend is relevant to the share prices of the firm. If you pay the dividend, share prices of the firm will increase. It will be always high. If you don't pay, they will have a dissatisfaction. Automatically, this will decrease. The meaning of this sentence is this. Am I clear? Dividends are relevant to the share prices of the firm. And second thing you have to remember is here, investors are risk averse. Risk averse means they don't want to take any risk. Risk averse means not willing to take any risk. They are not willing to take any risk. Every year they want some dividend. Then they will be happy. Suppose in case this year we are unable to pay the dividend. So, whatever profit we got, we kept it under retained earnings. Retained earnings. We did not pay. We thought next year we will pay. Future dividend we are going to pay. Are you sure? Can you pay the future dividend? It is also uncertain. Future is uncertain. What's going to happen? We do not know. So, that is why no shareholder is willing to take the dividend in the next year because next year is uncertain. So, that is why they don't want any kind of such kind of risk averse. Means not willing to take any risk every year. They, they want dividend. That's it. So, that is why surely and 100% uh, Garden has said that you have to pay the dividend. That will be the, that is going to increase the value of the share. Now, how do we uh, value the shares? Here is the formula. Before going to the formula, always remember here in Garden's method, we are going to calculate the share value of the company. So, for that, how much is the retention of the uh, profit? Suppose you got a profit of 1 crore. Okay. 1 crore I got. Out of 1 crore, how much you wanted to distribute it to the shareholders? That is payout ratio we say. Okay. Payout. How much you wanted to pay out? Payout is suppose say 60% uh, I wanted to pay. Out of 1 crore, 60% means 60 lakh I wanted to pay. Then retention. Retention is how much? 60% you have paid means retention is here 40%. Payout is 60%. It means retention is 40%. Say along with me. I want your involvement. Okay, pay. Retention is 40%. Like when you pay out 60%, when you retain 40%, then what will be the price of the share of the company? When you make the payment of dividend, total we won't pay. Maybe 80% we pay, 20% retention or 70% we pay, 30% retention. It can be always changing. The ratio can be changing according to the situation, according to the uh, decision of the company directors. Right? So, anyway, you just remember this. Now, we are going to calculate the share value of the company when you pay dividend. How much is the dividend? That depends. 60% you wanted to retain, 40% you wanted to pay. How much you wanted to pay? That depends on the situation. Right now, we will focus on the uh, first formula. Then after that, we will work out one problem. What is the formula of Gordon's? The formula is P. P is equal to E into 1 minus B by KE, in KE minus BR. BR means B into R separately. Okay. Say E into 1 minus B by 
ke minus br here p means price per share price per share we are going to calculate when you pay the dividend whatever may be the dividend you are paying so according to that what will be the price per share that we are going to calculate how do you calculate e e means earnings per share earnings per share e 1 minus b b means retention ratio retention ratio means just now i told you 60% we wanted to retain means 40% is payout so that is b retention ratio whatever they are saying payout is 40% means retention is 60% payout is 70% it means retention is 30% that is retention ratio we want we don't want payout ratio payout ratio will be given but we wanted to know the retention ratio payout 80% means retention is 20% 80 minus 20 100 minus 80 that is 20% right so in the same way ke ke means cost of capital how much is the cost for that capital cost of capital r is b is here retention ratio as i told you b is retention ratio ke is cost of capital r is retention rate of return okay so this abbreviation just remember all together br we can say it as a growth rate br means nothing but the growth rate just remember it like this okay am i clear e into 1 minus b by ke minus br e in say e into 1 minus b by ke into br ke minus br e into 1 minus b by ke minus br okay e is earnings per share 1 is 1 b is retention ratio k is cost of capital b is here retention ratio as i told you same one we got it r is rate of return that's all now let's see a problem in the problem if earnings rate is 12% cost of capital is 8% value of shares are 12% 12 rupees per share if 60% is paid out as dividend calculate gordon's model what do we want to calculate this price per share we wanted to calculate first earning earnings earnings per share see earnings rate is given value is given but earnings per share is not given earnings per share we want it is not given we have to calculate okay earnings per share earnings per share is equal to uh, value of the shares is how much 12 rupees 12 into earnings rate is 12%, right? 12 rupees per share. Earnings rate is 12%. You will get per share earnings per share. 12% means 0.12. If we calculate 12 into 1.44 this is you got earnings per share shall i write here first of all you have to write the formula as already written so i am not writing it then under that you have to write the abbreviations also p means price of the share e means earnings per share how much you got 1.44 i'll write here only you have to write everything downside after the formula okay next uh, retention ratio retention ratio is here if 60% is paid out 60% payout means pay how much is retention 40% so that retention ratio is 40% 40% means 0.40 if you want i'll write here b is equal to 60% oh, is paid out 100 minus 60 it comes to 40% 40% means this is 0.40 so b is 0.40 am i clear next cost of capital mm, cost of capital very clearly given 8% 8% means 0.08 rate of rate of return r if earnings rate is 12% 12% means 0.12 so everything you have to write here then apply it in the formula so i'll write it directly formula p is equal to E, e is here earnings per share 1.44 into 1 minus b b is 
by ke cost of capital is 0.08 minus br b is 0.40 into r r is here rate of return 0.12 we'll do this simple calculation am i clear please remember only the thing is you have to remember the formula and abbreviations already i have written in this problem only earnings per share is not given that we have calculated and after that just apply it in the formula okay so here if you do the simplification 1.44 into this 1 minus 0.40 comes to 0.60 divided by 0.08 minus this is 0.40 into 0.40 into 0.12 comes to 0.048 so let's see for the first one 1.44 into 0.60 this is 0.864 divided by uh, 0.08 minus 0.048 comes to 0.032 so if we do this multiplication 0.864 divided by 0.032 comes to 27 i'll explain you your answer is here 27 in gordon's model you have to pay out the ratio dividend something you have to pay so that dividend when you pay something what will be the price of a share price of the share how much it will be so that we are calculating here in any problem always they'll be saying you that payout ratio is something here the payout ratio is 60% is payout as dividend means how much is retained so 40% 40% that is b b is 40 and you know that e is earnings per share b is retention ratio just now i told you how much is retained 60% paid means b is retained is 40% k is cost of capital we know r is rate of return now in this problem everything is given except the earnings per share eps eps how do, how do we calculate value of the shares are 12 rupees per share earning rate is 12 12% if you multiply these two earnings per share and value of shares so automatically you will get earnings per share uh, share value is 12 rupees and earning rate is 12 percent means per share is you will come to know 12 into 0.12 rest of everything is given value of shares are you know value of shares are 12 rupees per share right and 60 percent paid out cost of capital everything is given so simply we have calculated you got 27 means uh, price per share price per share is 27 rupees when you pay out dividend of 40% sorry 60% when you pay out dividend of 60% then value of your share per share is here 27 rupees at least if you are paying here 60% 60% paid means retention is 40% simple in gardens model remember always b is important how much is paid here 60% paid means b is 40% 70% paid b is 30% am i clear want to take screenshot of course you have taken screenshot i'm standing just beside only so this is very important examination point of view and don't forget to share this videos practice this take out your test book and work out more problems that will increase your confidence also okay so stay connected we'll work out and we'll see more subjects more problems also good luck